Okay, the um, the next question is, if you weren't using loose-fitting respirators, obviously the Z-Link's classified as a loose-fitting respirator, how did you initially feel about using one when you did start using one? We had a hazmat team which had used loose-fitting before. But at first, the nurses and the physicians, you know, oh, we won't be able to hear. We won't be able to X, Y, or Z with it. Once I got a few people to try it, the word spread quickly. Mm -hmm. Hey, this is comfortable. It's easy to clean. Yes, we can hear. We've got the stethoscope uh, approved hoods that the physicians are using. Um, when we talked about the safety factors, we looked at staff that didn't used to wear an N95 every day. And if the risks are so much higher now, once we talked about how much of a better safety factor was built into wearing these uh, positive air pressure respirators, people were flocking to me saying, we want these in our department. We want these in our department. And the, for the first time in 30 years, I've had people come to me wanting this product. And most of the time, we're the ones that have to enforce, put the product on. So that's such a big change in our culture we've seen. One is if there's other workplaces experiencing the same challenges that you had before changing to the Z-Link, what advice would you, or recommendations would you give to them? Get your people, put their hands on it. And it, one of the greatest things about this equipment, it doesn't take a tremendous amount of training. You know, we do 15 minute just in time training. Our staff grabs it, puts it on, learns how to doff it, doff it, clean it. And they're the ones that take the ownership. They're the ones that will tell me now, I want this. You're not forcing something on them. And uh, the biggest thing was just putting them out there on the table. And that's what we did. We put different options out there and they all gravitated for the ceiling.